Hey, what's up, guys? This is T Mac back with the Mac Attack, and today the video is going to be more about a PSA, maybe uh, troubleshooting problems with the printer. So, a little bit of background. Um, so, I apologize for the delay. I had some holiday stuff going on, so I've been pretty busy with that. But also, uh, after I built my printer. I um, printed out that shark bottle opener Benchy. After that, things went south. So here's a story about it. Um, when I went and tried to print out another Benchy, another pre-installed Benchmark 3D model printout, um, the layers on the Z-axis were shifting they were always off it was it would print the base and then it would start to shift on the bed and print and, and still print but print offset so i you know i racked my brain i said well you know the benchy the, the 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 shark bottle opener was pretty good so like what changed what happened so after a, a lot of googling a lot of reddit subs a lot of reading and rereading the manual over and over and over again. Uh, I, I dialed it down um, through deductive reasoning and crossing out problems, crossing out solutions that didn't solve my problem. Um, I boiled it down to this. And so let me show you here in the manual. The manual itself is okay, but it, it could be better. Um, but right here so check before use I checked everything here before I used it right I did exactly what they told me to so the key I think here what everybody needs to remember is that when you first uh, I guess print out your first your first printout um, I did not adjust these knobs here. Well, I did adjust them, but I guess not well enough. Um, so it says here, you know, to tighten up the belt if they're if they're loose, right? So you think I don't know how much is, you know, I'm I'm more of a logical person, so I'm like, tell me how tight, like all the way until I can't turn it anymore, or just snug, or have a little play. Like I don't know what this number two here means so um after some troubleshooting i i i tightened these belts all the way up so once i did that what what i think happened is when you tighten up the bed the belts for the bed here and here it actually will slightly raise or slightly lower the bed as you tighten it, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming through, again, deductive reasoning, as you tighten this, those two knobs, it'll raise the bed just a little bit. And if you loosen them, it'll loosen the bed and lower it just a little bit. So anyway, long story born, I tighten these two up. The bed apparently raised a little bit. And so when I went to go see if it solved the problem, my head here the 3d printing head came in contact with the bed and it scraped all along the bed as it as it started calibrating itself doing the testing and i unplugged it real quick because i heard a horrible noise so i unplugged it obviously and i said okay so now that's another issue why is it now scraping the bed when it didn't use to scrape the bed. Well, after I, like I just explained, through deductive reasoning, figured out that, hey, you tighten these these knobs, maybe that raised the bed just slightly, and now it's throwing off the, um, the x-axis here is now coming in contact with the, with the bed, with the, um, uh, I guess the y-axis. I'm sorry, I may have missed it z before, but the y-axis. So, that was a problem so i said okay 
So simple, right? You just recalibrate your bed. You go into settings, you hit re recalibrate. It recalibrates for the new height of the bed. Should be problem solved. So I did that and I tried to test it again to see if it would come in contact with the bed and it did over and over and over again. No matter how many times I recalibrated it, if I just try to do a Z, a, a Z offset, it would not stop scraping against the bed. The nozzle, the, the, the brass tip extruding nozzle. So, and, and in fact, it, the entire printer had pretty much came in contact and it was knocking itself off of the, the, uh, the gantry, the, um, the, uh, X axis here. Um, so I just started getting fed up with it, got angry with it. It was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Like, how do I fix this problem? This is problem number two now. And I didn't even solve the first problem before the new problem. <sighs> so. I then decided, hey, you know what? Just start back from square one, right? So just completely system restore. Maybe I hit a wrong button or maybe the settings were off. So I completely system restored and said, now let's see if it works. When I system restored, you automatically go through the calibration stuff. So I went through it and I watched very carefully to make sure it didn't scrape up the bed any more than it already had. So at that point, it didn't scrape the bed. It, it, it didn't scrape the bed at all. Now, after that point, my not only did the brass tip not scrape the bed, also the benchy, I, t I printed out three or four benchies. They all printed out perfectly fine. It was, you know, it wasn't thrown off the... Um, the Y axis, it wasn't, uh, the layers weren't, uh, weren't shifting. It wasn't, yeah, the layers weren't shifting off of its original base. And that's the story of where we're, I am today. So I just using this as mainly a short PSA video, just letting you guys know what I went through and how to solve it. Someone in the last video commented that they were having a problem as well. And so my advice would be this. I think I figured out two how to solve two issues if your your if your prints are off or shifting and they're offset on the y-axis you may want to try to tighten up all your belts more maybe uh your bed belts are loose so your bed is like shifting a little bit as it's printing I think that was the issue to solve the shifting print was tighten up your belts, right? That's both belts. And when I say tighten it up, I tighten this one up pretty much as much as it'll go. It, 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 it The knob actually stopped turning. And then I, I turn it back one more rotation just so it's not all the way snug. I turn it back one rotation and left it there. For the belt uh, tensioners, I, I tightened those up pretty good um, until I felt like maybe it was a little bit too tight and then I undid it maybe one rotation again. I loosened it one rotation. So, so for the shift, again, for the Z bed, I mean, uh, for the bed offset, like uh, shifting of the layers on the um, Y axis, tighten up the belt tensioners and you should be good. And now for the secondary issue of your printer head coming in contact with the bed, the printer nozzle as well, obviously, it comes in contact with the bed first and it scrapes it. That was due to you tightening up the bed and now for some reason the system will not, it, it'll just keep scraping the bed and you have to do a complete system restore to brand new, system restore it to brand new and go through the calibration again, and that should solve your problem like it did me. And that's pretty much pretty much the story. Okay, so uh, in this video, like I said I just wanted to kind of put out a PSA. I have been printing out some things. I'll show you guys what I've been printing. It's been doing well ever since I did that. But as you can imagine, it scraped off. I was, uh, it scraped the bed as you as you see. I'm gonna put it here in the video. It scraped the bed pretty good, 
so I need another um, magnetic I don't know what you call it I guess the magnetic top mat for my bed uh, will have to be replaced and from what I can tell it didn't damage the um, the uh, nozzle the brass nozzle extruder so it's been printing out fine so uh, that's pretty much it right now I'm gonna leave it at that um, and uh, yeah uh, I'll be printing out a lot more now thank you guys again remember to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and we will see you in the next video thanks all and I'll let you know if I run into any more problems all right thanks guys have a good one